question is, um, you are an apostle, you are a husband, you are a business owner, you are a teacher, you are a father, and, and in all that you do, you give a lot of yourself. How do you personally stay balanced when you have things all the time pulling on you? Because I know this, not just for myself, but I think in a body of Christ, especially for those who are in positions where it's stuff always pulling on them or pulling on them emotionally, things can get out of alignment. So how do you stay and stay balanced? Mm -hmm. First thing, first thing first is my purpose. Uh, and everything else is secondary. So my, my purpose is going to always get the bulk, the most, and the best of me. Everything else is secondary. You know. Now with the other things, when you've got several things going on, and I learned this from T.D. Jake some years ago, because I was struggling with some, some things, you know. You've got to manage it from the center. Like I said, now my purpose is, <laughs> that gets the best, I, that's the best, that's, you know, nothing is not, you know, that's not going to take second to nothing. You know, anything, my, my purpose, you know. But then everything else, you, 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 you operate it from, from, from the center. You manage it from the center of it. And then you can equally split up certain things. You'll be able to see it better. Uh, you, you have to learn how to delegate things, though, that, that kind of stuff. And then with, with, with a, a balance, now I'll be honest, it took me a long time to really have, have, have balance, because, you know. And to be honest, some simple things that has balanced me out is stuff like, uh, and don't know, don't my Pentecostal apostolic brothers and sisters say I didn't backslid. You know, but what has balanced me out is watch some sports. See, because years and years ago, I used to, to think it just seemed sinful to watch certain things on Sunday. <laughs> now, 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 if God told you to do that, you do that. No, no, I'm serious on that, because there are some people where the Lord told you that. And if you disobey that, that's sin to you. You know. And uh, uh, so something like that, I, I balance out, watch, watch that. Uh, I, I, I've, I've been a soap person since I was in high school. You know, years ago, see, when I grew up, it, you almost got shamed or what? Because it just seemed like only women watch soap operas. Please, I tell you when the break the break came in 1980. Luke and Laura General Hospital. I'm telling you, before I was saved, me and my cousins we get in there, especially we was getting high in them days. We begin how we say, hey man, did you see General Hospital? Yeah, man, we and we talking about the stories. I see y'all laugh. When I was in college, 81, 82, they, they had General Hospital on the screen in college. <laughs> don't write me, I'm saying. But just certain things, I don't have a lot of time in getting a lot of stuff, but, but certain things, certain, that, that kind of, that balances me. Now I'm not saying that to be for anybody else. You know, because that, that, that might could be harmful to some people. Now, I'll be honest, now, uh, after I got saved and certain things, I stopped watching a lot of TV because it wasn't good for me because that stuff be on there you don't need to see, you know. So, so that, that's how I balance certain things out. But purpose is always number one. That, that's the main thing over anything else. Then everything else is kind of in the middle. Uh, it's easier now as far as family because all of my children are adults and, and that, you know, so that, that's something separate. So with, with my wife, what makes th that even more better is our purpose is I like this. So we don't even have to compete. She don't have to compete <laughs> for me that way because our purposes are twined like that. 
It's hard when it's not. Because then you're competing. You know. You in that Bible too much. You thinking about God too much. You thinking about the church too much. No, see, we don't have that. That's why I, I, I say earlier when I talk about premarital prayer, purposes is what come together. When purposes come together, you know, what God has joined together, when God has joined purposes, let no man put asunder, let no man separate. So that makes that a lot easier. If that, 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 that kind of that helps. But as far as other things, if you got multiple things going on, manage it from the center where you can see it. This, that, okay. This is going on, that going on, and manage it like that. 